Here's another example of applying a discrete probability distribution to find an, the average of the population. The long-term expected value in something is essentially the uh, mean of that discrete probability distribution. In the game of craps, there is this bet called a yo, in which you either make $120 on the bet, or you lose the $8 that you make on the bet. So there are only two x values here. So there's really two choices. You, <clears throat> you either lose the $8 or you win the $120. The probability of, of, uh, of winning is 1 18th. That means that there's 17 chances out of 18 of losing. And of course the one chance in 18 of winning. That is precisely a discrete probability distribution. So to find the mean of that distribution will be to find the expected value. In the long run, if we kept doing this game over and over again, what would our amount of wins or losses be? Remember that the mean of a discrete probability distribution is the sum of the x's times the p's. And of course, once we have the x vector and the p vector, that calculation is particularly easy to do. So we can run that script. In the long run, we would expect to lose about 89 cents on the average on every play. Another kind of bet that you can make in a craps game is called uh, bet on the pass line, which you just put down your $8. and. Uh, You've got a probability of winning of 244 out of 495. Okay, so if we know the probability of winning, we could find the probability of losing. Win $8 on this, or you lose the $8 on... <laughs> so we'll build, build another discrete probability distribution in which the, the x values are either a minus 8 or 8. And I'll ask R to do the heavy lifting here for the probabilities. Probability of winning is 244 over 495, so the probability of losing is, is 1 minus 244 over 495. And the expected value now will be calculated the same way. It'll be, I'll take each one of the x's times the probability for that particular x, <clears throat> and we'll add those up. So we'll run that script. Let me slide this up so that you can see the situation here. Um, we, in the first case, in Yo, we're losing about 89 cents a, a game. And in, uh, in passing the line, we're losing about uh, a little, little over 11 cents a game uh, on the expected values. So. If you're going to just keep playing and playing and playing in the long run, you'd want to play that second game. In the long run, you lose in either game. But uh, the passing the line, you lose less than the, than the other game.